on February 21st, 1982, at approximately 8 o'clock in the morning, Daryl and Johnson, age 9, left her home in Napa to attend or to walk to Lincoln Elementary. She never returned home on that day. Today, after 38 years, the Nampa family is getting some answers as to who may have killed their nine-year-old daughter. Daryl Ann Johnson was walking to school, as you just heard, in February of 1982 when she went missing. Three days later, her body was found along the Snake River. The original suspect, Charles Fain, exonerated nearly two decades ago. Today, the Canyon County Prosecutor's Office announced they're now charging a man by the name of David Darrell Wimple in the first degree murder of that nine year old girl. We go live now to Joey Prechtel, who is in Caldwell. He was at the press conference earlier today. Joey, how do they find this new suspect? Well, Mark, Canaan County Sheriff Kieran Donahue said that they used DNA evidence to link David Dalrymple to this 38 year old crime. Now that evidence came in just last week. And as for Dalrymple, he's actually currently serving a 20 to life sentence for kidnapping and sexual abuse of a minor for a different case that he was convicted for back in 2004. And as for Johnson's case, the sheriff said this has been an active case since 2001 when Charles Fain was exonerated. This is a tremendous day and the fact that we have identified that person responsible and that we are giving some closure, at least in this chapter, after 38 years to Daryl and Johnson, the victim, and to her family who are wonderful people. Donahue said they believe Dalrymple may have more victims. Through their investigation, they said they discovered Dalrymple sexually abused at least two other victims. Both of them were a similar age to Johnson. Donahue says those two victims never came forward to law enforcement. And because of this, that's why they believe there are more victims that they don't know about. That's why they're asking the public to either call the sheriff's office or Crime Stoppers if they have any info at all. Mark. So what happens now? What's the timetable? What did the sheriff say? He said they want to charge him. When will that happen? Right, and because this is an active investigation, Mark, the sheriff's office and the prosecuting attorney didn't take any questions from the media, but what they did say is that they are going to hold off on serving this warrant just because of the current pandemic. They said waiting to serve this warrant will actually help the prison with COVID-19. They didn't go into any details about that, so I'm not sure on, on a clear timeline, right. but we do know they're going to hold off to serving that warrant for Dalrymple until later this summer. All right, we'll continue to follow this case, Joey. Thanks.